Okay, time for a video I get a lot of questions on um, quite often, and I've addressed this in a Q&A video, I believe, but I keep getting asked questions, so I thought I'd do a video rather than try and explain over and over and over again in the comments, but I'm sure I'll still have to do that. So, it's, why can't I just wear my glasses with a gas mask on, or any pair of glasses or whatever? And it's obviously all about the airtight seal around the outside of the mask, but a lot of people I don't think quite understand that concept unless they're really into respirators. So, obviously, with a normal respirator, it's called a negative pressure respirator or negative air pressure respirator. That's for the um, air purifying respirators. And how it works is you've got your filter on there, and when you breathe, you're using your, the power of your lungs, essentially, to pull air through the filter, and then you exhale to blow air out. When you're pulling air through the filter by inhaling, it's negative pressure because where you're pulling air in, if there's any sort of gap around the mask, that will also let air in. If you allow that air in, obviously it compromises the seal of the mask, the air has to go through the filter. Um, so, basically, the issue is um, if you have glasses on, glasses go around your ears, uh, even if they're a sports frames on like these or regular frame ones. The vast majority of glasses, as far as I'm aware, you don't actually glue them onto your nose like that, or they don't balance. Um, they hold on via the arms on the glasses that go around your ears. The issue is, your ears are normally outside of a gas mask, or respirator, and when they are outside of the gas mask, no matter how much you tighten the straps, they are going to be making a little gap where the arms are, that's going to let air in, which will kill you. That's defeating the purpose of wearing a gas mask, because of the negative pressure design. When you inhale, um, that will let the air in. So, how can you get around that? Well, there's two ways. You can either have a mask, this one doesn't have it, I can't find any easily in my collection that have an obvious one of this. Some masks have these special mounts inside for installing like prescription made glasses that fit respirators. How they usually work is it's like having glasses but without the arms on it, it's just literally that front section of the glasses. And then they connect somewhere on the nose sort of section to the mask, they sort of screw in, and then you've got the two lenses that sit in front of the actual mask lenses. Um, that would obviously be an easy solution if you could be bothered to have an, another pair of glasses made without the arms on that fits onto those. But I don't think a lot of people want to do that. So, the other option of course is to maybe switch to contact lenses and wear a mask. I'm not a fan of contact lenses, I absolutely hate stuff touching my eye, so I've never bothered. So as you can get laser eye surgery if you really wanted to go down that road. Um, now with some masks it might be technically possible to rig a pair of glasses to sit on the outside. I think that would work with the SHMS, so I'm just going to quickly try that now and see if it works. Now, this isn't all that brilliant for having them be totally even, but yes, you can put glasses in front of an SHMS and I can see through them properly. So, the SHMS again is a really good respirator for just being slightly unorthodox and working quite well. I did know from before that you can put aviator type glasses on these, which I don't think is always fun. Um, but, yeah, that is at least an option, that you can um, put glasses on the front of some masks, especially the ones that look directly forwards, because, um, you know, how the mask actually works means that you're looking through glasses as usual, it's just that the glasses are on the outside of your mask. So, that's always an option, I guess, doing it like this, but there's sort of an easier method for a lot of people that they might want to think about. And that method is using an air-powered pump. <laughs> Obviously, as I said before, if you have a positive pressure mask, um, air is getting blown from the outside in. So you don't have to worry about little gaps in the mask because the air actually floods out of the mask rather than flooding in if it's contaminated air from outside. So what you do is you put your glasses on as usual. You don't do the straps up too tight where the arms are so you don't risk damaging your glasses. You have a decent air pump and then you're safe. It's the reason that I think the modern Israeli civilian masks are moving away from the 4A1 design they actually end up just looking like bags you connect a hose to, the reason being that it makes a positive pressure seal. You can wear your glasses underneath and it gives you a much better field of view if it's clear plastic sort of mask tarp thing than if you're actually wearing you know, a more claustrophobic actual mask that tightens to your face. Well, I couldn't find my proper aviators, but I could find my laser safety glasses. And yeah, you can wear them pretty well on an SHMS. So, yeah. If that answers your question, out of all the things I've got, the easiest thing to do is just stick glasses in front of an SHMS, apparently. But, 
if you wanted to do it properly, what you'd actually have to do, I guess, is to um, get the proper pair of glasses fitted that are meant to work with a respirator, fitted to a respirator that takes them. What would be a good solution, I think, for some companies to make if they ever wanted to do this, is do outsert lenses for respirators, and then make it so your outsert lens actually is um, like a uh, glasses focus thing. So if you're short or long sighted, you can get an outsert that matches your eyes prescription close enough, put the outserts on, and then um, that would work well. I suppose what you could actually do in SHMS is because you've got that actual extra bit of space there, if you took the lenses out and a pair of glasses, you didn't mind if they got broken or something, or if you're one of those people that's lucky enough to actually have your eyesight match an actual pair of um, like cheap Poundland prescription glasses, and then, well, even the non-prescription ones, would be to uh, get that bit of plastic and kind of wedge it in there after the lens. That might work quite well. But regardless, yes, you can... Um, wear glasses with a respirator if that's the thing you want to do um, you can do it this way